Let praises rise from the inside, from the inside of me. May you delight, come on church, in the inside, in the inside of me. Come feel my life from the inside. From the inside of me Set me on fire From the inside From the inside of me Cause all I want Is for you For you to be glorified For you to be lifted high All I want is for you, for you to be glorified, for you to be lifted high. All I want is for you, for you to be glorified, for you to be lifted high. All I want is for you, for you to be glorified. Come on and keep singing that with me. All I want is for you, for you to be glorified, for you to be lifted high. All I want is for you, for you to be glorified, for you to be lifted. Father, we worship you on this morning, oh God. Oh, we worship you, Jesus. Come on and worship Him, church. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Oh, we we'll worship you this morning, oh God. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ on this morning, as we are about to dig deeper into the Word of God, we pray for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We pray for revelation, knowledge from the Holy Ghost. Minister to us. Minister to your people on this morning. Let them see Jesus. Let them have a clearer understanding of the way you operate and do things. Strengthen your people on this morning. I pray give them the victory in every area of their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Somebody say a good amen right there. So on this morning, we are continuing our series in faith in the power of God. So on this morning, what we are talking about is the word of God releases God's power. There are certain things, if you read your Bible closely and spend time in the word of God, you would notice that Certain things men and women of God did, it created a certain response or atmosphere from the Holy Ghost. God responds to his people. Prayer was one of them. We covered that. Are you listening to me? We talk about prayer, which was very, very, I tell you what, it was just awesome to be with you folks in the word of God. And I tell you what, God is just, God is just phenomenal. You know, he loves you. He has an awesome plan for your life. And I'm just expecting God to do even greater. So we talked about how prayer releases the power of God. We also talk about faith in the power of God a few days ago. And on this morning, we want to talk about the word of God releases God's power. I want to take you right into the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 8, verse 4. The Bible says, where... The word of a king is, there is power. Glory to God. So the word of God releases the power of God. And we'll see this as we begin to go through scripture. So Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 4 says, Where the word of a king is, there is power. Because wherever someone is carrying the word of the king, the entire king's authority and that entire kingdom has to back up the word of the king. We're about to dig a little deep and you'll see this clearer. 
Psalm chapter 62 verse 11 says, God has spoken once, twice have I heard this, that power belongeth to God. Let me read that one more time. Listen to this real good. God has spoken once, twice have I heard it. Power belongs to God. Glory to God. So as we declare the word of God, as we preach the word of God with a sincere heart, with a sincere heart and with all honesty as the Holy Ghost reveals it to us, the power of God, the conviction of God is released because God has to back his word up 100%. David said in Psalm 119 verse 89, forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven where the word of a king is. There is power. You want the power of God begin to move? Just begin to talk about the death, the burial, and the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's why the apostle Paul said, my brethren, when I came unto you, declaring unto you the testimony of God, I did not come with excellency of speech or of wisdom, but I came in demonstration of the Holy Ghost and the power so that your faith may not be in the wisdom of man, but in the power of God. Shout! We need the word. We need a word. Glory to God. I'm just having me some fun here. Now watch this. Listen to what the Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 4 verse 32. Talking about the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, And they were astonished at his doctrine. They were captivated at his teaching. They were captivated by what he said. Why? For this simple reason. For his word was with Power. You see, Jesus is the word made flesh. Glory to God. But as he began to speak what God gave him, as he began to release the word of God, the authority of God, the anointing of the Holy Ghost, the power of the Holy Ghost stood right there, ready to back up the word that Jesus was declaring. Why? Because Jesus said, the words that I speak, these are not my words, but it is the Father who sent me. And every now and again, God will show up and show out to confirm the word of his servants to let people know that this message is from the king of all kings and the lord of all lords. We need a word. Shout yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now watch this. I want to take you into the book of Luke chapter 5. I feel the anointing. Glory to God. Listen to this. In the book of Luke chapter 5, verses 16 and 17, the Bible says, And Jesus withdrew himself into the wilderness and he prayed. But now watch what happened in verse 17. Because we talked about prayer yesterday, and of course, prayer has a whole lot to do with this, but there are some other things that we do that is very strategic that releases the power of God. Now watch this. And it came to pass on a certain day as he was teaching. What was he teaching? He was teaching the word of God. Watch this. And it came to pass on a certain day as he was teaching that there were Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by which were come out of every town of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem. Watch this. And the power of the Lord was present to heal them. Now I just want to cut this down so you can get it. As he was teaching. What was he teaching? He was teaching the word of God. He was teaching what God gave him. Jesus was the one who said in Luke chapter 4 verse 18, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, recovery of sight to the blind, and the opening of the prison door to them that are bound as he was teaching the word of God, the power of the Holy Ghost, the presence of the, of the God of heaven, the power of the Holy Ghost showed up to back up what was coming out of Christ now because God will back his words up. God 
will open the eyes of the blind. He will unstop the ears of the deaf. He will make the cripples to get up and walk to confirm that the gospel of Jesus Christ is real, it's authentic, and it came from God. That's why the Bible says in Mark chapter 16, verse 20, they went forth preaching everywhere and the Lord working with them, confirming the word, confirming the word where the word of the king is, there is power. Shout somebody. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. My God, my God. Bodies are still being raised. Glory to God. My God, my God, my God. Bodies are still being raised. Sing it. Giants are still being slain. Now I believe. Now I can see. That wonders are still what you do. We are here. We are here. For you. Come and do. What you do. We are here. For you. Come and do. What you do. Set our hearts. On you, come and do what you do, cause we need a move, we need a move of God, we need a move, oh, we need a move, we need a move, we need a move, mountains are still being moved, sing it, mountains are still being moved, strongholds, strongholds are still being loose. God, I believe, yes, we can see that wonders are still what you do. We are here. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. Set our hearts on you. Come and do what you do cause this is a move this is a move of God this is a move oh this is a move of God this is a move come on and lift your hands to heaven sing it this is a move 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 of God we love you Lord we love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Oh, we love you, Jesus. This is a move. This is a move. This is a move. This is a move of God. We love you, Lord. This is a move of God. Listen here, saints, we love you. We just appreciate you. And we encourage you to continue to stand with us. We are preaching the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are not ashamed of this gospel. We just ask you to continue to stand with us, continue to support the work of the Lord. You can do so by visiting us online, seanpinder.net forward slash give, seanpinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account, that address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. Paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also mail in your donations. Just remember to make your checks and your money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 117442, Carrollton, Texas 75011 7 Four, four, two. This is a move. This is a move of God. This is a move. This is a move. Sing it with me. Bodies are still being raised. Sing it. Bodies are still being raised. 
giants are still being slain. God, I believe, and yes, we can see that wonders are still what you do. We are here. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. We are here for you. My God, my God, my God. We love you. God bless you. That's for me and my lovely wife, Pastor Amy. We'll see you again on tomorrow morning as we talk about worship releases the power of God. We love you. God bless. Bye-bye. Pastor Sean Penner is coming to Freeport, Bahamas. He invites you to the Freeport Miracle Crusade to be impacted by the Word of God, uplifted with anointed worship, refreshed by the presence of the Holy Spirit. But these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. And to experience the miraculous filling power of God. Join Pastor Sean for these powerful miracle services at the Bahamas Union Teachers Hall. Friday, March 8 at 7 p.m. And Saturday, March 9 at 10 a.m. and 7 p.m. For more information, call 242-646-9494. Your life will never be the same. See you there.